All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to show you something really cool. So in calculus, you always use to the fact that xy is yx. But today I wanna to show you that for matrices, this is not true. I wanna show you that in general, AB is not BA. And let me just show you an example of that. So, take A to be the matrix 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and B be the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's calculate AB. Well, AB is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I was very clever with this, okay? <laughs> now, first of all, let's figure out the size of the resulting matrix. We have a 3 by 3 matrix here, and we have a 3 by 3 matrix here. And sort of the inner parts cancel out, and we still get a 3 by 3 matrix. Now remember how to multiply matrices. You start with the first row and the first column, and you take the dot product. So 1 times 1 plus 0 times 4 plus 1 times 7, which gives you 8. Then you continue and you move on to the second column. And you get 1, 0, 1 dotted with 2, 5, 8 which is 1 times 2, 0 times 5, 1 times 8, which is, sorry, 10. And then you move on to the third one. 1 times 3, 0 times 6, 1 times 9, which is 12. Good. Notice you ran out of columns. It's like this typewriter where you, at the end, and then whoosh, you just move on to the next column. So next row. So you do now 0, 1, 0 dotted with 1, 4, 7, which gives you 4. And then you take 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, you dot it with the second one, gives you 5. And then the third one gives you 6. You ran out of columns. You go back to the third row. And you do 1 times 1, 0 times 4, 1 times 7, which is 8 and then again 10, and then 12. So this is AB. Oh baby, baby, okay. <laughs> this is AB, and now on the other hand, let's calculate BA. BA, I like British Airways, so that's good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, times uh, one, zero, one, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Well, again, it becomes a 3 by 3 matrix. Let's see how we can find it then. Again, you take the first row and the first column. You dot it. 1, 0, 3. That's 4. You move on to the second column. 0, 2, 0, which is 2. 42. 1, 0, 3, which is 4. And then... You ran out of columns, so you move to the second one, and so you get 4, 0, 6, 10, and then 5, and then 10 again. And then last row, 7, 0, 9, so it's 60, and then 8, and then 60. Sweet 60. And indeed, that is correct. And in particular, notice those two matrices, they're not the same. AB is not BA. So even though real numbers, they commute, matrices, they don't commute. <laughs> In fact, it reminds me of a joke. Uh, why, is, <laughs> why is the identity matrix always late to work? Because it needs to commute. Okay. <laughs> anyway, and then, um, <laughs> I know this is surprising. But you've actually seen this before in calculus because you also learned that FG, F composed with G, 
is not the same as G composed with F. Um, because if you want to put on your shoe, if you put on your sock first and then your shoe, it's not the same as putting your shoe on first and then your sock. That would be a bit awkward, but yes. The point is, matrix algebra is really weird. And let me give you another property that's false and that you think it's true. Also, in general, AB equals to AC, you cannot cancel A out. So it doesn't imply that B equals C. And, okay, sure, the, for the zero matrix, this is false, but also, uh, if A is non-zero, that's also not true. So it's not called, I think, integral domain or something. Because notice, if you take the matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, and you apply it to 0, 0, 0, 1, so that's A, B. Well, if you do matrix multiplication, it gives you 0. And that's the same as... 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 2. So if you multiply those matrices, you also get the 0 matrix. So you see, AB equals to AC, even though B is not equal to C. So you see, those two things are not equal. So for matrices, also careful, we cannot just cancel out. So matrix matrices are weird and in fact you know this sort of divides up algebra into two parts one commutative algebra for people who say well let's just study objects where a b is a b a and non-commutative algebra where like no let's do it in generality both are interesting but i'm not an algebraist i'm an analyst so <laughs> it's like let, let them argue you know and then I'm just chilling out with my functions. <laughs> All right, so I hope you like this and you want to see more math. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.